Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Gardener's Plot, What's New in the Garden. So today's episode, we are going to have a look at what creatures and things we'll find in a wildlife pond. So, nice big bucket of critters in here, and then we've also got a few fish as well. So, I'll showcase what fish we've got in the pond, and then also what sort of creepy crawlies you will find lurking in the, in the bottom of your wildlife pond. So what I'll try and do is I have a nice little pot. Um, we'll try and crack out each critter and I'll tell you a little bit about them. Right, let's crack on. So let's start with the fish. So the one in the middle, just there, that is what's known as a stone loach. They're not a very big fish. These guys sort of feed amongst uh, in gravel and sand in rivers and streams and ponds hunting, hunting insects and the one next to it this one and this one are both nine spine sticklebacks i did try catching a three spine but they were a little bit too quick so a three spine three spine stickleback obviously has three spines and although these guys are known as nine spined they only they can have between eight and twelve and then the one just under this plant just move it is a little minnow and unfortunately these guys are mainly found in bait shops <laughs> so the fishermen actually use them to catch bigger fish you won't use them as bait in our pond so having native species in your ponds or like the sticklebacks and minnows they're less invasive so you can build up a really good wildlife habitat because these guys won't eat everything in sight like a goldfish goldfish will eat everything plants animals whatever they can fit in their little mouths whereas these guys will actually work in harmony through your pond and there is very various color morphs between the sticklebacks so this one is sort of a dark steel gray and this one's a lot lighter you can get some sort of dark green stripes and they're quite an active little fish they prey on the mosquito larvae and things like that so great little additions to a pond if you can get all of them just go to your local stream or pond and you, especially if you've got kids be great exercise sort of a bit of pond dipping and then bring a few things home and pop them in your pond and they should establish quite well right that's some of our predators if you like in the pond and then we'll have a look to see what's in the tub so bear with and i will get my little pot and we'll have a closer look two seconds we'll have a little look at some of the mollusks you can find in your pond so this one here let me get inside this one is just your greater ponds now they're pretty much found everywhere and then the one next to it if i just move it slightly you can see it's a bit more of a spiral and there's a younger one there so this type belongs to the family planorbis and these are sort of an these snails also breathe air as well as so they do have to come up to the surface and uh, they have a left coil in shell Whereas the greater pond now has a spiral, this one has a left coil and shell. Um, sort of a species similar to the well, uh, the subspecies of this would be a ram's ram's horn snail. These guys are great for wildlife ponds because they sort of eat algae and things like that. There you go. That is the mollusks you would find in your pond. All right. Let's see what other little critters we can find. So this is what is known as a caddis fly. So these guys are um, the larvae form of a little fly and they're laid in <coughs> ponds and fresh and sort of rivers and things like that. And then what the larvae do is they actually go around and gather little bits of sand, gravel, stones and build up this long shell. You can see there's a few stones, there's a few twigs there. There's actually about 14,500 different species of caddisfly. It's 
quite a lot. Um, so as I said, they use these little shells to protect themselves. But what some people actually do is they catch these little caddis flies, put them in like little tanks and things and actually give them little bits of gold and jewelry and they actually build up a shell out of jewelry and then what they do is they make necklace pendants and things out of them so just have a look on um, google caddis flies and you can be able to see some of the jewelry that people make out of them amazing little creatures look at them go there you go that's one of the insects you would find in a wildlife pond I did have a dragonfly nymph, so I'm going to try and find that one. But bear with. No. Did a bit. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the dragonfly nymph. They're that well camouflaged that I can't actually find them. So, sorry about that. He was a pretty cool little creature, but he's hidden too well in the pot. <laughs> so, I can't unfortunately see him. But I'll quickly show you one of our little water boatmen. Not water boatmen, pond skater. These guys obviously live on the top of the ponds where they sort of hunt little creatures and little insects and things like that. If you sit and sort of watch a pond and you see something land, all of a sudden you see like, like five pond skaters like come skidding across the surface to try and take it down. I've actually seen them take on a wasp and win. So although they're small, that's my thumb, these guys quite tough so there you go that's a little bit about the wildlife you would find in a wildlife pond yay i managed to find him just as i was about to put the tub back i noticed him on the plant so if you look there's a twig there that's how good at camouflaging they are so these guys will hunt pretty much anything they can get their little mitts on any insects tadpoles young fish there you go. Dragonfly nymph. Right. See you in a second. Right, that's it for this week's episode. My thumb still hurts from last week. Yes. Do you want to give daddy a kiss? No? Alright. I stumped him now. Have cuddles instead. There we go. Not better. Um, so yes, that's, that's it for this week's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, listening about all those little creepy crawlies that you'd find in a pond. Um, these last couple of weeks have been absolutely manic, so I will, I keep on saying this, but I will try and catch up on people's videos. Um, the other half is open up, just opened up a new salon, so I spent a lot of time helping decorate that just been a lot of late evenings and but it's open now it looks quite swish doesn't it yes it looks very posh um so yes that's it for this week's episode hello to any new subscribers um i will try and catch up on video soon what else that's it for this week i have no idea what's going on yeah i don't know what i'm doing next week just tune in anyway be something exciting i suppose right let's pop you away release the guys release the little creatures back into the pond and what else should we do we'll do something right i am off Lynn. i do apologize so hopefully again hopefully you enjoyed that episode and if you do like what you're watching press subscribe um it's basically me just getting attacked by Teddy all the time, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I can't stay mad at that little face. No, I can't. You're so beautiful. Sorry, I am waffling. Right. Toodle pip, everyone. See y'all later.